and you forgive. Then she began to think about that. Forgive? She remembered her husband. I said that man, how can I forgive him? I've been suffering this way, suffering this way. These children are suffering. How can this be? And then eventually I said again, God will give you the grace. He will give you the grace. Anybody there I said he will give you the grace. What you think is impossible for you is possible with God. It will happen tonight in Jesus' name. And so while I was uh, saying that God will give you the grace, will forgive and everything will be all right. And eventually she said, oh Lord, help me. He will help you. To forgive this man. And in her heart, she forgave. But she saw that her telephone was uh, kind of vibrating. Because she put it on silent. When we finished the prayer, she looked at the telephone. During that time of preaching the message, and during that time of having the grace to forgive the husband, God had touched the husband where the husband was. I said God touched the husband where the husband was. And the husband had called her five times. Within that short time of preaching the message, how many times did I say the husband called her? Five times. And then she called the husband back. Remember, for three years, they have not been talking. Hatred, bitterness, anguish, anger, everything. But within that time, the husband called five times, and she called. And then, uh, so the, uh, the wife said, I saw your missed call. He said, yes, my, my wife, where are you? I want to see you now. I want to come home. I'm sorry. And she became to apologize. Cut a long story short. Within that period, they reconciled. And the man said, sorry, all that the woman has lost, brought money, brought everything. Now they are living happily together. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Your problems are solved tonight. Your mountain is taken away tonight. Something is happening already. Even before we pray, something is happening already. You will be the recipient of God's miracle power tonight in Jesus' name. With men, it appears impossible. With men, it is actually impossible. But not with God, because with God, all things are, I want to hear you. It is not in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, he's talking unto you now. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, Lord, I believe. If thou canst only believe, Lord, I believe. All things are possible to him that believeth. All things are possible. I see possibilities in your life tonight. I see salvation in your life tonight. I see healing in your life tonight. I see deliverance in your life tonight. All those battles you have been fighting, I see that you win the victory tonight. Everything becomes possible. All things are possible for him or to him that believe in. Let's come back to Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I've been looking at point number one. God's eternal power for the weary. Number two. Great exchange power for the weak. Great exchange of power for the weak. Tonight, there's going to be an exchange. You will give your weakness unto the Lord. He will give you his strength. You will give your sickness unto the Lord. He will give you his healing. It's as simple as I give you a pen you give me a paper. I give you a substance, and you give me something else. You're going to make an exchange for the Lord tonight. 
as we stand up to pray, when we finish the message, we say, Lord, here is my sickness. Take it from me. And Jesus will say, I receive, I take your sickness. Here is my healing and my health I give unto you. I thought you would say, Amen. Amen. Here is my poverty. You give your poverty to the Lord, and the Lord will say, Here are my riches. He'll give you his riches. I have been wondering, I've been thinking, here is my confusion. I give my confusion to you. And the Lord will give you his own signs and wonders tonight. A great exchange of power for the weak. There's an exchange tonight. Look at it. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint. That is, those who are fainting, those who are weak, those who are weary, those who are lifeless, those who are powerless, you give him your lifelessness. You give him your weakness. You give him all the totality of your problem. And he'll bring supernatural solutions to your life in Jesus' name. You give it power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall do what? Shall renew their strength. Your strength is renewed tonight. Your problems are taken away tonight. Do you remember the story of Jacob? It's in Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32. Reading from verse 26. Genesis 32, verse 26. And he said, Let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let you go. Tell me. I will not let you go. Tell me the rest. I will not let you go. Except thou. Bless me. Wait here for a moment. There are some people that say that they are waiting for the Lord to bless them. And they say it depends on the Lord. They say, what can I do? I want healing. If God wants, he will heal me. I want deliverance. If God desires, he will deliver me. And if he says it is not tonight, then it is not tonight. What can I do? If he says, my healing, my deliverance, my freedom, the breaking of my yoke, my miracle, the creative miracle. If he says it's not tonight, what can I do? Jacob said, I want a blessing. I'm going to have a blessing. And when the angel said, let me go for the day breaker, Jacob said, no, you cannot go, except you bless me. If you will take your stand like that, if you will take your stand and say, tonight is the night of my blessing, nothing will change it. Jacob had the final say. He said, I will not let you go, except you bless me. Tonight, you have the final say. If you say tonight is the night of my blessing, it is so in Jesus' name. Tonight is the night of my healing, it is so in Jesus' name. If you say, I will not live here tonight, except this happens, that thing will happen. Verse, 20, verse 27, in verse 27, and he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. Tonight, it will change your name. Tonight, it will change your nature. If they have been calling you, you always see, you always see Mr. Sickness, Mr. Sickness. That name will change tonight. Evil things will not be attached to you anymore. Weakness will not be attached to you anymore. Defeat will not be attached to you anymore. A change is coming. 
I said a change is coming. I said a change is coming. I receive it in Jesus' name. Thy name shall no more be called Jacob, for as a prince, thou hast power with God and with men, and have prevailed. Tonight you are the victor. Tonight you prevail. You will be the strength and the power of your life tonight in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 9, verse 43. Luke chapter 9, verse 43. The great exchange of power. For those who are weak, there's an exchange tonight. It takes everything negative away from your life. And it brings the positive to impact your life, to influence your life. In Luke chapter 9, verse 43. And they were all amazed at the power of God. But while they wondered everyone at all things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these saints sink down into your ears. All that you are hearing, let them sink deep into your ear, into your mind, into your heart. What they have got, you will get. What other people have received, you are going to receive tonight in Jesus' name. Because God is a God of power. is a God of authority. is a God of might. With him, all things are possible. And tonight, it is so. I said tonight, it is so. Those battles you have been fighting, fighting with the devil, the devil for you is conquered tonight. Those battles you have been fighting, fighting with evil spirits and demons, all that battle is coming to an end tonight in Jesus' name. The dream that made you afraid. Because they came in real combat. And it's like they told you in the dream that you will never escape this one. I come to tell you. By the revelation of the Lord, all those enemies, they are conquered in Jesus' name. Tonight, the Lord will put joy happiness, laughter in your mouth in Jesus' name. Let that sink deep in your ears because Jesus is going about here tonight manifesting his power and as he gets to you, hand over your sickness. He will give you healing. Hand over your affliction. He will give you deliverance. Hand over your joblessness. He will give you the employment. Hand over your childlessness. He will give you the child. Hand over all the impossibilities in your life. There's an exchange of power tonight, and that will happen unto you. In Acts of the Apostle, chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about. He went about. I said he went about doing good. He will do good in your life. And healing how many people? Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. That's why you came tonight. As you came tonight, you're just going to make the great exchange. And you take all the problems of your life, give unto the Lord. It will be exchanged with a supernatural power. We come to Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Reading from verse 31 now. But they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord 
shall renew their strength. What a moment. It's not some of them. All of them. All of us waiting upon the Lord. You have come today and to wait upon the Lord. And it says, everyone waiting upon the Lord, you will renew your strength. God is not a partial God. He doesn't answer one and then leave the other one not answered. It's not a God of partiality, a God of favoritism, a God irrespective of persons. No. He says, they, all of us, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You are mounting up. You will not remain in the dungeon of problems anymore. In Jesus' name. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. This race before you, in your personal life, you will run, you will not be weary. The race of your spiritual life, if you have been tired, you have fatigue, it's like I don't know I can move on. Tonight, power will enter into you. You will rise up, you will run this race, you will not be weary in Jesus' name. The race in your family that have been running and it's like I've done my best. I've tried my best. I've run the race. But it's like, I cannot make it. You will make it. From this night, your weakness will be turned into strength. Everything that you were trying, I'm giving up. I cannot. I'm giving up. I cannot. I come to tell you tonight, you will not feel anything. But the power, mighty power of the Lord will come upon your life in Jesus' name. And they shall walk and they shall not faint. I will not faint. I will not faint. All that fainting will be taken away. All the tiredness will be taken away. All the impossibilities taken away. There will be a reality, the reality of the power of God manifesting in your life. Psalm 25, waiting upon the Lord. Psalm 25, waiting upon the Lord, verse 5. In Psalm 25, verse 5, Lead me in thy throne. Teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. You see that? Teach me. As you are waiting upon the Lord, He will teach you what to do. He will lead you the way you ought to go. All the confusion of your life, everything is coming to an end. Verse 21, in verse 21, Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I will.